Hi there adventurers. Today we're going to be taking a look at Inno's cam buckle cinch straps. These are available as a quantity of one so you can pick up as many as you need. We're using two to hold down our kayak today. And they're going to be kind of just your standard entry level strap. They will work for our kayaks, but I will say there are some better options. And if we take a closer look at our cam buckle, I'll tell you why. Because this strap here is just your basic strap. It's got our cam buckle on it. It does everything you would expect it to do out of your cam buckle cinch straps. But you can see it's got this nice shiny cam buckle on here. And while it does look fantastic, some of your gear, you may not want this cam buckle to come into contact with when going down the road because it may cause scratches or abrasions. So if we take a look on the other side, we've got another kayak over there with e-trailer straps on it, and we'll see how it protects it. So if we look over here at the e-trailer strap holding our kayak on the other side, you can see that this cam buckle strap has a cover that goes over it. And this is going to prevent any scratches or abrasions from occurring as you're going down the road. We got the strap a little bit loose here just so we could flip it over to show you. But even when they're tight, they can still have some minor vibrations which can cause abrasions. With this pad here, it's not going to cause any abrasions. Now, the e-trailer strap here is a great option. If you're also looking for an entry level, that's gonna be great for kayaks and more sensitive accessories that you don't wanna scratch. But you could upgrade it even further and go with one from Thule. And you can see how much more aggressive the rubber protector is on this one. It can't really slide around or come off the strap. Whereas this one here has the potential to work itself off. You can see if you can kind of pull it off of there and it has the chance to naturally come off. Whereas this one's gonna stay on there with the cam buckle so you don't have to worry about any abrasions ever occurring. Another feature that our e-trailer strap has that our innos don't is it has a tie down here for your excess strap once you're done with it. This just makes things nicer and neater and helps to eliminate the chances of this strap falling down potentially getting caught on your wheel or anything else. We can go back to the inno side and we'll show you our solution for it. It works but it's not as good as having an integrated one like this. So you can see here with the excess we just took it and we put it underneath our strap when we cinched it down. And that for the most part does hold your strap in place but you can see here as the wind hits it it does have the potential to come out of there. I do have to pull with quite a bit a little bit of force there to make it move so it's unlikely but it is still a potential scenario. So if you're wanting to ensure that you stay protected I would recommend the e-trailer straps over the innos here. But again, if you're just looking for an entry level strap to get the job done, or if you're working with some equipment that ha that's not really that sensitive and you're not gonna be on the back of a trailer where it's low to the ground or anything, these are a great option. And then one final thing to keep in mind for our straps is the safe working load limit. For our NOs is going to be 132 pounds, which is more than enough for our kayaks here. And they have a maximum brake strength of 330 pounds. And that completes our look at NOs cam buckle cinch strap. 